friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. So I recently did a video talking about how to sell on ThreadUp using their partner kits. I will leave a link to that video down below. I won't go too much into it, but I literally explain A to Z, how you send clothing to them, um, they, you choose a partner that they've partnered with Gap, Banana Republic, Athleta. They have a couple partners, more than a couple, I think it's like close to 10. And then they sell the items. This is not like the normal consignment with ThreadUp. You don't get to set the price. They set the price, but they pay you out in a gift card with that partner. So if you send a Gap box, you uh, get paid from Gap with a Gap gift card. And it's an e-gift card, goes to your um, email. A lot of you asked me in that video, do you have to send Gap to Gap? No, as you'll see, this is I did an Athleta partner kit. I send them everything. I sent them Gap, Express, brands from Neiman Mark. It's like you can put anything you want in there and you can pay the fee to have them return the items they don't sell or you could just have them donated or whatever they do, put it in thread up heaven, I don't know. So I thought we would do uh, a what sold because you guys seem to be really be interested in that video. So I did a thread up, Athleta partner bag. Um, and on this specific one, I earned $205 why did I say it like that? $205.24. And they had a 15% boost. So if you chose Athleta as your partner, you got extra 15%. So I got an extra $30.79. Um, so yeah, so what's the total? That's $235, $236 and some change. So I thought we'd just go through and I would tell you what they sold and how much they sold for. A couple things I should mention beforehand. I'm only sending them things that I paid $2 or less for because as you'll see, a lot of these payouts are pretty low. This is not like thread up consignment. You don't get to set the price. Whatever they give you is what you get and that's what you get on your gift card. Um, so I'm just not willing to risk sending them something I've paid up for and then have them price it super low. Some of this stuff they priced pretty well and it sold pretty at a decent price, but I'm using this as just kind of like an extra money thing for inventory that I may find maybe while I'm at it, out at the bins that I know might do okay. A lot of you asked me, because some of these payouts are like, you were like, you could get more if you go to a buy, sell, trade store. But think about it. You have to drive there. You have to use gas. You have to wait for them to go through your stuff. Um, some of them do drop-offs. But I just like that I just put this in a box, you guys. I don't even drive the box to FedEx. My boyfriend does. And then that's it. You put, your, you put a bunch of stuff in a box and that's it. They deal with the rest. So that's why I use this service. So let's start. I put photos. This lands in pullover sweater. I'm sure I showed this to you guys in a haul. It was like a thrift haul. It had a really cute doggy on it. I think it's a schnauzer or a terrier or something. They priced this at 30.20 and it gave me a payout of 4.68. Again, like I said, the payouts on these are kind of like. But I got this on dollar day, so I paid a dollar for it. So I still made 3.68 for boxing it up and sending it to them. I feel like I definitely could have made more selling that myself but I at this time when I sent this stuff to them I was just inundated with inventory I had just gotten my uh, quick lots Nordstrom palette I was still working through my revolve stuff so I just wanted to get some stuff out this um is this BCBG this BCBG oh god I lost the thing hang on friends I lost the um kit. My phone is a mess. I can't wait to get a new phone. I'm pretty sure this is BCBG generation white dress. Here we go. They priced this at $83.12 and I got a payout of $26.93. I'm really happy with that. I sometimes have problems moving BCBG generation. BCB generation. I think that's how you say it. Um, I actually do okay with selling BCBG Max Azria. I find it a lot here in LA. I think a lot of you have told me they have a warehouse here or a showroom here, but I don't like to sell like the basic pieces, like the pants or the suit stuff or the workwear, but the more unique dresses and things like that, they do pretty well for me. But, um, yeah, I'm totally happy with that payout on that dress. These Hurley shorts, I showed these to you guys in a haul. I just broke even on these. I paid a dollar for these on dollar a day. I was trying to remember the haul. 
and they gave me a payout of two dollars and ten cents definitely could have made more money on that selling it myself but I'm happy to see them go and they sold quickly. That's another thing I mentioned in the uh, Thread Up Partner Kit video. They process these at lightning speed. Nothing like the consignment bags that can take weeks and months. They get these boxes and I'm not kidding, within five days they're processed. And then within another five to 10 days, I get the gift card from Athleta, Gap, Banana Republic. So very, very fast. This cabbie sleeveless blouse, oh my gosh, I have had this for so long. I bought this on Dollar Day like two years ago. I tried selling it consignment on ThreadUp. I tried selling it myself. It just hasn't sold. It, so they thank God they took this. I've worn it in videos when I was pregnant. So they priced this and it gave me a payout of $10.20, which I'm super happy with. This is one thing I did pay up with, pay up for that I'm like... I don't remember putting this in that box, but clearly I did. This Michael Kors white uh, purse. I showed this to you guys in a haul. I actually paid $15 for this. I wanted to keep this. This is like Michael Kors back in the day, you know, when the stuff was like really good quality leather. This bag has to be like six to 10 years old, I would say. I wanted to keep this. Um, this probably retailed for like a couple hundred bucks. Anyways, they priced it at $150.62 and it gave me a payout of $65.62. So I made a profit on that. I did send that to them on consignment multiple times. It didn't sell. So I sent it back and that was a risk because like I said, it's very risky sending them things that you pay up for. You have to be very strategic with this because a lot of this stuff, they are pricing it like bottom, bottom rate pricing. So just be careful as you can see. Case in point, this nasty gal cocktail dress, they listed at 4304 and it gave me a payout of 680. You got to be careful. Luckily, I did not pay up for that. I paid a dollar for that on dollar day but just be careful. This assorted brands shirt I bought from the bins. It was just, I just picked it up because it was just, it had no brand. Really pretty floral and I thought it was perfect for summer. They priced this at $24.50 and it gave me a payout of $3.25. Probably could have made more taking that to, not Crossroads, like Buffalo Exchange or something. But like I said, this is just super easy, affordable stuff. I just put it in a box. I don't have to photograph it or anything. This, I probably should have just kept. This is a Diletta sleeveless top. Um, I wore this a couple times. I really liked this top. They priced it at $34.34 and it gave me a payout of $6.50. I think I just broke even on that. I actually purchased that from the ThreadUp outlet and then they took it. And I'm pretty sure I paid $6 all in. So I made 50 cents. That I should have just kept that. That was a super cute top and it fit me. Um, this Lucky Brand pullover sweater, they priced at $45.30, and it gave me a payout of $8.20. I got that on Dollar Day, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to say like 90% of the stuff I send to them, I get on Dollar Day or at the bins uh, for these partner kits. This, I was surprised how much they priced this at. This 360 sweater, it was a wool pullover sweater. They priced this at $78 and it gave me a payout of $27.07. That's awesome. So definitely if I find that at the bins or on dollar day, I'm going to keep picking that up and sending that to the partner kit. This Talbot's long sleeve silk top. Again, I bought this on dollar day. They priced this at $45.25 and it gave me a payout of $8.32. Super happy with that. These Banana Republic factory shorts, I got these on Dollar Day. I don't really like picking up Banana Republic factory just because it's already pretty affordable retail. So when you try to resell it, it doesn't usually resell for that much. But they priced these at $24.40, which I was shocked at. And I got a payout of $3.75. Um, Dollar Day, I already told you that. This Anthropology long sleeve blouse, uh, I wore this many times. I got this on Dollar Day. This sold for $47.50 and it gave me a payout of $8.25. I got a lot of wear out of it. I paid a dollar. I made seven bucks. Totally happy with that. 
This Mullinet Soars, I butcher this brand. I showed it to you guys in a haul. I did not get this on Dollar Day. I'm pretty sure I paid three or five dollars for this, but they priced this at $88.87. They're Pricing is funny. And it gave me a payout of $32. Totally happy with that. Um, I don't know if I could have gotten more for that. This brand actually retails for quite a bit, but the resale value doesn't hold up. Um, so I probably was gonna get like 30 to 40 bucks for that if I was lucky, if I sold that myself. So I'm super happy with that. Uh, what do we have next? This J. Jill casual dress. They listed this as a dress. This is not a dress. This was a size extra large sweater. It was really cute. It had fringe at the bottom. They priced this J. Jill dress slash sweater at $55 and it gave me a payout of $10.50. Super happy with that considering I paid a dollar for it. And then I did send them one of my halogen cashmere scarves that I got. If you've seen the Quick Lots unboxing palettes, I probably got like 70 cashmere scarves from Hologen. They retail for 150. They don't resell for that much and all of them were brand new with tags. Um, so I took a risk on sending this to them and they priced it way lower than I thought, but I still made a profit. On the Quick Lots items, I paid $2 per item um, and they priced this at 75, which is not bad, you guys. And I got a payout of 34.50. So that's not bad, I just, Probably could have made more selling it myself. Although I don't know, the comps on those scarves are all over the place. Like some of them sell for a hundred and then some of the people are selling them for 20. I'm like, what? So I'll, I don't know, we'll see how that goes. I haven't sold any yet myself, only through ThreadUp. We'll see how those sell this winter, but. Yeah, so it's just a nice way for me if I get inventory for cheap to, ooh. I just got an offer on one of my listings, not uh, a reselling listing on one of my house listings. Shameless plug, if you ever need a real estate agent in California, I always leave my real estate email down below, but I can also refer you an agent in any of the 50 states. But anyways, um, yeah, it's a good way for me to like flip inventory that I get for a really low price. And I don't have to drive to buy, sell, trade store. I just box it up. So yeah, it's not bad. Some of the payouts suck and some of them are great. But it's nice extra money. And then what I do is I use the gift cards and I sell them um, on a website called Raise, R-A-I-S-E. Um, I'll link it down below, not sponsored. And then yeah, some of my friends, what they do is they actually use the gift cards. Like when you get your Gap gift card, they buy Gap clothing and then resell that. I just want the cash. I'm all about the liquid income, okay? <laughs> Give me the money. I'm fine with that. Uh, Raise though does take a fee. They take like a 15% fee. So just keep that in mind. But all right, if you guys wanna keep seeing these what sold on ThreadUp videos, let me know in the comments down below. You can check out my other ThreadUp videos right